Hi, I'm Peter Franklin. I'm the executive director here at Highfield Hall and Gardens. I'm sitting at Highfield Hall and we are having our member preview today. Member previews are for all of our terrific members to get a sneak preview of what's coming up. So today uh, we have exhibits for um, the spring in uh, showing. Hi, I'm Janet Morgenstern Pisani, Director of Marketing at Highfield Hall and Gardens. Right now we're sitting in the billiard room and I want to take a moment to tell you a little bit about what's coming up this spring. Art Ability, Art by Artists with Disabilities, runs from April 15th to June 17th with an artist reception on May 6th. This is a national show featuring works of 29 exceptional artists who work in a diversity of media including printmaking, mixed media, sculpture, metalwork, drawing, and painting. One of my favorites is the exhibit with, uh, for people who have disabilities and it's just an amazing exhibit because the works they produce are, are extraordinary. One of them, which is my favorite, this woman produces artwork with little tiny itty bitty pieces of paper that um, she, they glue to the surface and when you step back it looks like an impressionist painting and then when you get really close you can see the individual pa uh, pieces of paper. Just an amazing piece of work. Artistic Trails in Healing, the paintings of Deborah Hope Cooligan and her students runs from April 15th to May 13th. Deborah is a graduate of the prestigious Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts and a lifelong artist. After a horseback riding accident in 2004, she received a traumatic brain injury that required her to spend years in recovery. Deborah now dedicates her life to teaching art to students of all kinds, including differently enabled students from a wide variety of backgrounds. Thin Places, drawings and photographs by Deborah Coolidge. This exhibition of drawings and photographs explores Deborah Coolidge's profound connection with trees, particularly old growth trees and witness trees in New England. We also have expressions in wood, carved and turned vessels. This exhibition explores the work of five local artists bound together with a shared passion of wood turning and wood carving. Exhibiting artists include Sue Beardsley, Bob Beardsley, Mike Grady, Toby Lawrenson, and Gary Tabor. Also, the continuum of now, photographs by John Moore. His photos of a winter walk around a snowy pond printed in sepia tone record fleeting moments of seeing as in the waning sunlight of a winter's day. We have five different art exhibitions, wonderful music that's going to delight and uh, introduce you to some interesting musicians. And we also have culinary and garden and special events. We have over 150 events over the whole year and it's impossible to tell you everything but if you look at our website you'll find them including tours. Uh, we'll be having regular garden tours and we'll also have regular estate tours. So uh, they're all free with admission so come on down.